On this week's episode, I print a hidden face pumpkin I found on Thingiverse, and then I show you some basic electronics that are included inside a Tinkercad to light it up. I'll show you all this on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. I found this Halloween pumpkin on Thingiverse by user 3DWP, and a face appears when you light it up. This pumpkin has a hole in the bottom so you can put it over the top of a candle or something. So I wanted to fill that in. So I brought in the Tinkercad and I used a cylinder to make a, a round disc for the bottom. And then here's an insert for the LED. Now this is a circuit assembly within Tinkercad. So it's an LED and battery. And this glow cutout is what I'm going to use to make that fit. Now in the process of making this, I found something that I believe is a bug in Tinkercad. The first thing I did was take that flat base and the pumpkin and I centered it, both of them together in the X and Y direction and then grouped them together. Then I brought the cutout, the glow cutout and the pumpkin with the bottom together, centered those in the X and Y direction and then grouped those together. And at that point I thought I had a hollow pumpkin with a base with a hole in it. So I downloaded the .stl, brought it into Simplify 3D, set to a 5% fill but look at the whole inside was filled. This, this made it, this hollow pumpkin into something solid. So then I went back to Tinkercad and I said, you know what, let's try a different approach here. First, let's take the disc and let's cut the hole out with that glow uh, cutout and then center that base with a hole already in it with the hollow pumpkin and group those together and see if I get the same results. And when I exported the .stl and brought it into Simplify 3D, well, you'll see here, I actually got a hollow pumpkin. When I bring it down, it's a hollow pumpkin and it's got a 5% wall. So there's something about simple, uh, Tinkercad that messes it up when I did it that other way. Now, when you look closely here, you can see the mouth and the eyes that will appear from the lighting. All it is is the walls themselves are thinner at those locations. It's very clever. It's almost like that velocity uh, 3D printing where it produces an image. So the next step was to print that little base that holds the LED and battery that they call a glow within Tinkercad. So I went to the circuit assemblies, I grabbed the glow, brought it into Tinkercad, and even though it shows an LED and battery in here, when you download it, it doesn't include that. So I just clicked on the STL file downloads it and then brought it into Simplify 3D and here it is just the base. There's no LED or nothing. I set it to a 50% uh, fill and a 0.3 layer height, printed on my Prusa MK2S and it said it will only take 22 minutes. And here's two of them. One I printed in a red filament and one I printed in the glow in the dark. That's the one I'll actually use in the pumpkin. The red one's for demonstration purposes. Let me explain a little bit about LEDs. LEDs are diodes and they have an anode and a cathode, which the anode is the positive, which is the longer lead. Cathode is a negative, which is the shorter lead. You can also determine it by the flat spot on the LED. That's the cathode or negative. The rounded side is the positive or anode. So you have to hook this up properly. So here I have the negative or flat side connected to the positive side of the battery and the positive to the negative side of the battery and it doesn't glow. But if I reverse this, the long lead goes to the positive side and now it glows. It's forward biased as they would call it in a it's typical diode in LED, it just lights. Now, normally you put a resistor in series with the LED because the resistor will limit the current and prevent the LED from getting too much current and it will absorb any extra voltage. It'll drop any extra voltage. So here, I'm gonna hook up an LED with no resistor to the power supply and the power supply has unlimited current. As I crank it up, the LED burns out and eventually lets out the magical smoke. Now let's try that same experiment with a resistor. The resistor is connected in series. I crank it up to six volts, still glowing. Crank it up to nine volts, still glowing. Crank it up to 12, almost 13 volts, still glowing. So why does this work with just a three volt 2032 battery? It's because the battery doesn't put out enough power it's maximum 210 milliamp hour rating, but at three volts and the load and the internal resistance, it doesn't produce enough current to burn out the LED. 
I wanted that candle flicker effect, and there are LEDs that do that, and I found these on Amazon.com, a set of 10. And they actually have a little circuit or chip inside that causes it to flicker. Now they still recommend a resistor, but at three volts they set a one ohm resistor, which is kind of meaningless. So it works fine directly on the battery. So now all I needed to do is assemble this thing. Now I'm gonna use the red one here. I actually put it on the glow in the dark plastic when I did it. So it's a 2032, it's got a positive side marking, and there's a positive side on the 3D print. Doesn't really matter, it goes either way, but this way you know which side is positive when you stick in the LED. So now on the positive side, I want to make sure I got the longer lead going into the positive side and the negative lead going into the other side. And there's two little channels on both sides of the battery that the LED just kind of slides in and makes contact. And then it starts flickering. Now I needed to put this inside the pumpkin. And what I found is it's very, very sensitive. If I push too hard, it pops in. So what I ended up doing is just placing it on the bench and then put the pumpkin over it and then push the pumpkin down. That way I can't push it too far in. And that seemed to work really well because you gotta pop this thing out. There's no on off switch. So if you wanna turn it off, you gotta, you gotta pop it out. So you can see the light coming through. It's just hard to see the face in the lights. Let me show you how it looks in the dark. The pumpkin will actually glow in the dark because of the plastic that I use, but with this little LED, it didn't seem that bright during the daylight, but at night this thing just glowed and that face came alive. I really love the effect. It worked out great. Now this looks a lot better in the dark obviously, but I think this is a great project to do with your kids. You can teach them a little bit about 3D printing, how you can hide features inside by thinning walls, Use glow-in-the-dark plastic if you want, and print your own flickering candlelight. Teach them a little bit about electronics. So I think it's a great project to do with your kids. If you like this project, maybe check out some of my other projects popping up. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon is always appreciated. And if nothing else, if you're not a subscriber, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.